Good morning, folks. Keith here, Dual Sport Journey. And today we're going to take a look at this brand newly acquired Honda SEL 500 Scrambler. Now, these just showed up in the States just several weeks ago. I've been uh, keeping an eye on them since earlier this year. I've seen them arrive in the European market and I've just been waiting for them to show up here in the States. I finally found one local so of course i had to grab it so let's just do a quick walk around the engine well for those of you that are familiar with uh, honda motorcycles honda street motorcycles uh, this engine might look very familiar to you this is the 471 cc parallel twin engine they actually put this engine on I believe five models. So this is the pretty much the same engine that you'll find on the Rebel 500, the same engine you will find on the CBR 500 RR, on the CB 500 F, and also the CB 500 X. So I believe this is the fifth model that Honda has decided to put this engine on. So it really is a, a rock solid mid-size engine that just performs really well for these uh, mid-sized motorcycles. Headlights and turn signals, all LED. Same as the Rebel headlight. I love the little covers on the forks. And the display. It's quite simple, nothing really impressive. Has your basic information. Uh, gear indicator speed obviously time so quick note i just picked this motorcycle up yesterday at approximately noon and i was able to get right out on it and i actually got well, it looks like 100 over 130 miles on the thing just yesterday fuel gauge uh, right here along the bottom and that's about it no tachometer coming down to the fuel tank have a, I believe, 3.2 gallon, right around there, a little over three gallon fuel tank. I'm thinking I should probably get around 60, 65 miles to a gallon uh, with this. So having a three plus gallon tank is gonna be really nice. The seat, I believe it's quite stylish. It obviously looked a bit thin. I was a little worried about how comfortable it was going to be but i'm telling you after putting over 130 miles on this bike yesterday i can tell you that it's much more comfortable than it looks when you first sit on it it kind of feels like sitting on a board but it actually breaks in nicely and it's actually a very comfortable seat coming around the rear of the bike not much to see there again led lights most of this actually is all shielding you've got a this is all shield, it comes all the way down here. This is a shield and this is a shield. So you've got several layers of heat shields. Uh, so actually for the passenger, I don't think it would be that bad if you're looking at putting a passenger on there. But I don't know how many of you plan on uh, riding passengers. Uh, I just thought it would be something that I should bring up. Okay, moving on from that, well, one quick thing. As I said, this is a shield. This is not actually the exhaust here, uh, but you can see my boots rubbing right on there. This looks to be like kind of a common thing. Um, I don't think it's gonna be any big deal. You're, you're gonna get some scuff marks on this heat shield uh, because your, your foot peg is kind of, kind of close to it. And it does come with a, a little plastic engine guard here covering this, which is nice. If I, if I ever bash this or something, I would much rather just replace this piece than, you know, the engine cover. So overall, really nice little package. I think Honda did a great job just kind of putting this all together. I think with some more aggressive tires, I don't really think you're going to be disappointed with this bike. If you want to do a, a little bit of off-roading, um, a little bit of uh, seasonal use, highways, dirt roads adventure bike type riding. And one little analogy that I would like to share with you, when you try, take a new motorcycle right off the lot, you know, 
you can kind of get a feel of it obviously taking it for a test drive but i found with any bike it's almost like opening a new bottle of bourbon you know you take that neck pour and it's kind of meh you know but then you let that set you let that whiskey kind of open up for a couple weeks try it again and man it's like something totally different i found that a lot of times after getting a new bike you know you really just can't tell you drive it off a lot you drive it home and you're just kind of meh but after that break-in period you know the engine starts opening up nicely the seat the suspension starts breaking in you really start getting a feel for the bike and that's when you can really start taking in the full experience of that bike right now as i said i have a little over 100 miles on the bike i feel the whole thing is breaking in quite nicely and i'm really looking forward to getting this out and possibly putting a couple hundred miles on this bike today so i really have a good idea what this bike is going to feel like and its capabilities all right so so much for the walk around let's get it out on the road Okay, we're just gonna come up here to a little parking lot, do a little slow maneuver training. Of course, with any new bike, you know, that should be really the first thing that you kind of do, take it out and see how it, uh, how it handles and slow speeds. You won't have any problem with this bike. Kind of going into some areas where uh, might be sandy, gravelly, muddy, some truck trails here. And this is a great little two mile loop that goes down around this lake. And uh, there's all kinds of different surfaces here. So.